How do you know a person is a good person, when someone doesn't want recognition or draw attention to the good things they do? By their consistent integrity and kind actions. If they tell you over and over they're a good person, they're most likely not one. The way someone treats animals and or beings weaker than them when they think no one else is watching, is a great way to reveal their true heart. They do their best. They try to help where they can. Usually without wanting attention drawn to what they do, they are thoughtful and tactful and they're willing to listen and learn to do better. They do the right thing even when they have nothing to gain. I think someone who can admit to being wrong is incredibly underrated. Each of the nicest people I've ever known passed this test. It's a dead giveaway of a good moral compass. When he waits for you until you are done tying up your shoes. When they listen more than they talk. They walk in the other room to fart. You don't. But your general mood is much better when you assume a person is a good person instead of a bad one. Also, people do good and bad things. It doesn't matter if they are good or bad people. They put the grocery buggy slash cart slash WTF back in the corral. When a person acts selflessly even for others they know won't reciprocate. When you commit mistakes or say something wrong, they don't antagonize you for it and blame you immediately. Good people try to understand the other person. Through small things they do especially when got gaining anything from it. Kindness to strangers in difficult times. They put other before themselves and don't expect anything in return. If he truly cares about you and defending you in secret. The people who are trying to answer you seriously are the same people who will react to something bad by saying I guess you never really know someone. You don't. Good people are still capable of doing bad things. By how they treat animals when no other humans are around watching them. If you need to judge a person's character, borrow a dog and a hidden camera boom done when they treat people who have no power with respect and compassion when they don't just not make other people's lives harder but they actively try to make things easier for them i e they consistently clear up their table in a food court throw things in the bin etc when they return their shopping cart etc when someone don't need a camera recognition or whatsoever just to tell others that they are good people when they do something nice and don't go around bragging about it they do good things without expecting a reward, and more importantly, do good things when no one is looking. If they are polite to minimum wage workers, they put the grocery cart instead of leaving it in the middle of the parking lot. If they return the grocery cart to where it's supposed to go, when they do things for you even though they don't feel like doing it. This question is also interesting because it's almost turned into a brain teaser for me. I was going through the comments to see if I was a good person, but then I thought if I have to check. Does that mean I'm not a good person? But then I thought but if I have the self-awareness to realize this, maybe I am a good person. Which lead me to if you're patting yourself on the back though. And I keep going back and forth. Regardless, great question op. Just change your definition of good to be sure. They put their food in the trash once they are done in a food court. Instead of just leaving it there. Someone who is always kind, helping those less fortunate and not wanting anything in return. Someone who tries to help you and treats you good while at the same time knowing there can't be done anything for them to help him in any way. When they don't take their bad mood out on others. Everyone has bad days and it's fine to not always be all sunshine and rainbows, but I have no tolerance for folks who will take their shitty day and unload it on others, especially when it's e.g. people more junior to them at a workplace, customer service personnel etc. They show acts of kindness without expecting anything in return and they are full of integrity. Two things it point out, when they do something for someone cause they genuinely care. They don't do it for a favor in return or for attention. They just do it out the kindness of their heart. When people respect nature, may that be animals and plants. From my experience, people who don't respect nature can't really be trusted. After reading a bunch of answers in the thread that it makes think that people have forgotten or don't know that a lot of people who knew killers, abductors, molesters and stuff before they found out said they seemed like such a nice person they trusted them. So to me you don't truly know you just of faith they are. When they think of others and take quiet pleasure being kind and helpful. I don't know if you can know for sure unless you spend a lot of time with a person. I think it takes actively trying to be a good person regardless regardless of what other people might think. Always trying to do the right thing even if they don't personally benefit in any way. Treating strangers kindly. Practicing patience even in tense situations, etc. Everyone makes mistakes but not everyone actively tries to do right by others. They're kind even when no one is looking. Really easy, if the person use personal time dedicated to others and doesn't look for benefit and it's always with a giving attitude. If they keep trying to improve and be better than they were the day before. If my dog randomly growls at a stranger, rare, 
I immediately don't trust them, lol. When they go out of their way to be friendly to outcast. I remember one time I was in a group for a project, and this one girl started making jokes about this off looking girl at another table. Girl 1 was no doubt loud enough for girl at other table to hear. A third girl with us then greets second girl with a smile. Hi underscore, how are you doing? They then talk for a bit, and girl at other table leaves. It's been like 10 years, and I still remember this happening. It's so common for people to want to avoid being seen with outcasts because it hurts their social proof. That weirdo will make me look bad. Put the shopping cart back even if no one is around watching. I love the shopping trolley theory. Kind actions big and small, with consistency. It doesn't have to be big checks to charities or donating organs, just consistent kindness. Watch how they interact with salespeople, wait staff, receptionists, cashiers, etc. If they are always kind and patient with everyone they interact with, regardless of the power inherent to their positions, then it is very likely that this person is a pretty decent human being overall. How they treat nouns that they view as lesser than themselves. When they offer to pay for your food. If they put their shopping cart away at the grocery store. When they accept their mistakes and strive to improve. When they work hard to be better people, are not assholes to themselves or others. Want their voice to be heard, but others as well. A person who does not expect anything in return to their kind deeds. Honestly you just see it in them most of the time, at least in my case. Sometimes it's really hard to weed them out though. Just remember, that when a person doesn't leave you when they succeed, and comes to help you in your time of need. That is a good person. Apologies for my English. I watch how they treat animals. Hard to say since some can get really manipulative in social circles. They tend to have a good grasp on emotions, actions and its effects on others. Great acting skills too, to seal the deal. I just tend to quietly observe people around me and if I feel like they want betray or hurt me in the future, I open up just a bit. There are tendencies that they can be more aware of their surroundings than you think. It's a whole domino effect honestly but it have to say body language speaks for itself. Can't explain it but people tend to give off this vibe and I just kinda instantly know what kind of person they are. Is it weird? May. Usually after the first couple bites, clowns tend to taste funny. When a person isn't fake and is being nice to you. I miss 6th grade RN. They do things without any person gain or ulterior motive. You can't know. They are a sum of their actions. A good person can do bad things and vice versa so I don't think there are good and bad people by definition. How do you know if you are a good or bad person? You are governed by your own morals which may not align with others. You might think that you are good but be perceived as bad. You might be good or bad depending on your mood and conviction at the time. Because it's difficult to discover people's true intentions, we can only judge others based on their actions. The consistent choices and actions one makes reveals the content of one's character. They are kind to service people of all sorts. During a conversation, do they listen to what you say? Or are they simply waiting for their turn to talk? If you feel at ease around them, and not feel like you need to compete with others to be like new them. See how they treat people with mental disorders or disabilities. Are they judgmental? Do they discriminate against them? If so, they are a piece of shit, regardless of what comes out of their mouth. One other factor for me would be if they are kind to all animals, whether they be feral or domestic. By their character and how they treat others when they disagree. Doing the right thing when no one is around, working quietly, doesn't need to draw attention. If they return the shopping cart, because there is no reward if you do and no consequence if you don't. It's the perfect litmus test for ethics. If someone has to talk about how nice they are, they're not a nice person. If someone is constantly talking about how honest they are, they likely use their honesty to hurt people. If someone has to post videos about them going a kind act, lots of YouTubers, they're manipulative. People who are truly kind and good people, never bring attention to their actions because they aren't doing it on purpose. They don't actively make efforts or a show of the nice thing they're doing, that's just who they are as people. When they treat people they hate well. Anyone will treat their friends well, unless they are absolutely the worst, but a great person is kind to everyone. That doesn't mean avoiding conflict, but handling it well and respectfully. Did they put the cart back in the cart corral? Yes. How bad could they be? Whether or not they say they're a good person. Everyone is good and evil. You have to find out where that line is. The way they treat people who in society have less than them. When they're not not a good person. The only way to be truly good is to not fear death. I'm not sure if it's possible. Talks good of others when they aren't there. By how they treat people who are below them, whether in a work environment, or staff in restaurants etc. That reveals a lot. They don't judge, they learn from others and educate them in return. 
They treat everyone nicely. I've learned that it doesn't matter how well someone treats me if they're awful to other people then they aren't really a good person. I always judge people who say, well, they're nice to me. It's a low standard for appraising a person's character. They put the grocery carts back to their designated spot instead of leaving it next to the parking spot after they unload. How they treat someone that is confused, for something they can understand. If they don't try to simplify, or explain in a different way, they aren't a good person. There are no good people. That's not a give up, it's not worth it thing. But rather a we all make mistakes and doofed up shit, but we have the ability to change kinda thing. There's no pressure to be a good person because it's not possible, just be kind.